Hello and welcome to another episode here on the War of the Rebellion channel. Today we are going to start a new series where we are going to explore material I covered in my book Liberty and Slavery published by Alice U Press. In the series we are going to look at a number of individuals, migrants from Austria, Hungary, Poland, Germany and Ireland and how they experienced European revolutionary events, how they came to the United States and witnessed the war of the rebellion and in a few cases also what they did after the war of the rebellion. When Thomas Francis Mayer leaves the United States Army before the end of the war, President Lincoln gave him a new assignment. He was going to Montana. He was going to help run that territory. Initially he had left the army to engage in recruiting efforts, to bring more men to the cause. He was a famous man after all. Thousands had greeted him when he arrived in New York City in 1852. At the same time, there were a lot of hopes in the Irish community, both in the United States, in France, and Canada, that Thomas Mayer would take on a leading role in what had now become known as the Irish Republican Brotherhood, the Fenians in North America, who are aiming to bring about Irish independence by violent means, and use the experience Irish people had gained in the fighting in North America to engage in a war against Great Britain and bring about that Irish independence. Mayor waved him off, he was not interested, didn't want to engage in it. Unfortunately for Mayor, even his career in Montana was cut short. There were a lot of challenges he faced as the territories, white settlers stole more and more land from Native Americans, engaged in brutal fighting with Native Americans. It was one trip that Mayer took down the Missouri River to obtain more supplies for the territory's militia that he unfortunately fell overboard and died. Some people have claimed that he was murdered. Some people have claimed that he was drunk and fell overboard. That he was unhealthy from a meal. A lot of conspiracies circling around Thomas Mayer's end Montana. But Thomas Mayer will always have a significant place in U.S. and Irish history because of the two revolutions he fought in. One as a revolutionary against British rule and one as a leader of the Irish Brigade in the U.S. Army fighting southern separatists. He's a complicated man, but a fascinating man nonetheless. If these brief episodes sparked your interest about the individuals covered, please consider not only subscribing and liking this channel, commenting on this episode, but also looking into purchasing my book, Liberty and Slavery, published by LSU Press.